guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fast Chunka Jean Cosplay and today we're back again with you guys with Viking episode 8 of season 4. That was bad last episode. Oh the god. The fight was a crushing one. It was like seeing someone you like literally run into a wall. Yeah. It was expected and it was bad. And Ragnar lost it. He's like, if he saw death and pain and suffering and you cannot bear it. But you also saw life. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Lord of the Rings alone! <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, but no, seriously, uh, Bjorn has noticed that something is going on, but he's not doing anything now. Yeah. Um, Ragnar is talking to a severed head. I don't know whose head it is. I don't know if we know the person. I'm betting on a French soldier or so. Maybe. We don't recognize it, so I don't know. But uh, Ragnar is losing it. Like, he's taking more drugs. He's... he's you know, having, uh, oh, not panic attacks, but like these spasm, spasms and stuff. And uh, the Chinese withdrawal. girl, so, what's her name? I don't remember her name. Sorry. Her name. The Ch Chinese girl has realized that she's not by his side because he cares about her. She's by his side because he cares about the drugs. So maybe yep. she's going to leave. Oof. He has said they were going to retreat. So we'll have to see what happens there. King um, Edward is that one finger to become King of Mercia. Yeah, he's got the help of a, um, a royal prince. So the princess said that if they win, he's gonna give the the kingdom to Egbert legitimately. So good for him. That's exactly what he wants. <laughs> Bad for Queen Catherine. Mm, no. Yeah, that's not gonna be good for her. I think she's about to die. So oopsie. Mm -hmm. And um, Elga is hurt. And I hope she's gonna survive. Floki is the lost. Vision dreams. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's being conf confronted by uh, the traveler who is also helping out the women at home. Helping out, because I mean, we know that strings are always attached to his help. Yeah. Apparently. Uh, don't know if it's actually true, but last time he was there, people died. So. Yeah. Two little children and one woman that we love and care about. Yeah. So we'll jump in this episode and see what happens next. I wonder if it's going to be like straight to them going back home. <sighs> Let's see. All right. Oh, we forgot to say, but kudos to Rolo's plan because even though we hated to see it happen, it worked like a charm. <laughs> Running away with their tail between their legs, they're not gonna like that. And like I said, it was the point. We agreed to raid with the mic to write my love books. Now we are running away. So what happened? You were there. We bought into the magic of Ragnar Lothbrok. We thought no one can stand in his way. In our world, we cannot accept compromise. We cannot accept failure. Someone is always responsible for failure. Leave Ragnar alone. He's human too. If I were you, I wouldn't talk about Ragnar Lothbrok like that to my face. Oh, thank you. You say it, Ragnar Lagertha. Woohoo! But she feels it too, I think, deep down. Something's wrong. You know this weakens you. This weakens you in every way. Jesus Christ, stop hitting the nail! He's right though. I know, but... <laughs> but he doesn't like it because that's not what he wants to do. Nobody likes to be proven wrong. It distresses me to say so, Your Highness, but I fear the trust you have placed in the Northman Rollo is... misplaced. I believe we can no more trust him than trust the wild boar. In any case, Your Highness, he has now served his purpose. Oh, shit. Um... Then you must use your power and proceed quickly. Arrest Rollo before he can save her and celebrate his triumph, or before he escapes to raise an army against us. But my daughter, we'll get over it. Oh, no. She won't like it. He won't like it. Yep. We won't like it. But I think what the other guy said was sort of code like, oh, we can get rid of a... <laughs> Because he doesn't trust him anymore, so... No. He doesn't... And o Sorry. Odo doesn't know that stuff is going on behind the curtains, you know? About him. Yep. I 
anything before you do anything stupid, please. Tell everyone we're going to make camp here. Why are we going to camp here? Just do it. He's got an idea. But what it is? Well, Bjorn just told him that his decision to run away is making him weak in the eyes of everyone. So his duty is kind of forcing him to do something. He needs to do something. So maybe he's got a plan. What is the point of making camp here? When we ought to be continuing downriver. When we came up, we saw a few sizable settlements. They were bright for attacking. At least we wouldn't go home empty-handed. But they are not Paris. We left Paris behind. Maybe you have, but I haven't. What do you mean? What do I say? Nobody here understands what you're saying, King Ragnar. Though they may be, they ought to listen. Instead of talking. We are going to lift the boat up the cliff. What? Then we are going to carry them across the mountains, past the forts, and then simply slide them back into the river. Oh my fucking Absolutely. god. And how do you expect them to do that? Oh, they're gonna do it. You can do that, can't you, Floki? Man, they're crazy! <laughs> Well, they wanted to see Ragnar Lothbrook. No. I can do it, Ragnar. I can do it for you. Everything I do, Ragnar, is for you. You're my man! <laughs> oh my god. Ragnar is the one who got the crazy idea, the crazy plans, and Floki is the man who's gonna execute them all. No well, questions he's, asked. He's provided, so far. You know, of course, that I am with child. And who, pray, is I the father? Your son, Aethorf. She's my son. Yay! Kill the queen of fishes! Do you rescue me? Is it the matter? Judith? I have told no one but you. I also need to return to Mercia as her true queen hmm. by your good graces. You are no longer queen of Mercia. What? It's happening. Uh oh. Before they were unfortunately put to death, the members of the ruling council, along with your family, were obliged to put their seals to these documents, whereby Lord Wixton, in the presence of the laity and the clergy of Mercia, accepted both your abdication from the throne and my assumption of it. As you see, the devices are legal, the documents binding, both in the eyes of men and of God. It's a bad thing to be betrayed, right? Mm. How did you sleep that night? You sleep just fine. <laughs> he never intended for her to stay Queen of Mercia so easy. No. Not for a second. And now she's pregnant, so that's like another eh. Gotta deal with that. Yeah, but she's pregnant with his son's heir. So he got. He, he got it's a not his claim. son's heir. It's not his son's heir. True, true. They right. were not married. He's not legitimate. And yeah. he already has another son. His blood. His own blood. I know. <laughs> we'll have to see what he does with that. Oh my god. They're doing it? I think that Floki liked that Ragnar came back, you know, just said, uh, oh, I have a plan, let's do something, like that drive is back. It's not, but, uh, he'd rather see this than, than a losing this. Ragnar, yeah. The defeat of Ragnar Lothbrok will resound down the ages. What defeat? As long as my brother is still alive, he is not defeated. He no. has retreated. Nope. You talk. As if you no longer need me to protect you. Mm. I do not wish to give you that impression. You should also know that I'm carrying Rollo's child. Oh! Everyone's pregnant in this episode! <laughs> you got a baby! You got a baby! Everybody's got a baby! Sigurd, stop. Where are you taking me? You have to come! Aww. This kid. I was worried about how he was going to take this situation, but I'm really surprised in a good way. He's acting really mature. 
He's sleeping with other women. See? Not just you. More than once, too. Because he saw her betray his dad for him. And then he saw him go with other women. So he's like, what's the point, mom? He doesn't love you. She's gonna leave him there. Strike. <laughs> no, no, no. Harder. If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> Roland. Oh, they don't need him anymore. Really? That's what he said. Should have said no. Well, now you can say we stop now. Nope. And this one is gonna hurt. <laughs> they are into some twisted shit. These siblings, fuck. I do not want them to be in power ever. Like, I'm scared of what they're gonna do. <sighs> it's basically Ragnar 2.0, someone she thought that was all about her, taking care of her, and now he sleeps around. Basically. I have broken my life for your sake. I do not know if you are a god. But all I longed for was your presence and your caresses. I will always be with you, Miss Owen. Always. But do not try to possess me. Mm-hmm. Mm As a man, he is delusional, and as a god, I'm not surprised. Typical behavior. Well, I mean, we've got, we had proof before that he was special, special, different. The grace will now be entrusted completely with the defense of our realm. This is the iron hand of Franca. I give it to your grace as a symbol of my favor. Not now. I mean, I'd Not rather now. I'd rather Rolo have it than than Odo. <laughs> okay. He, it's true though that he must have been aware of what was going on because what what did they expect? Like, whip him till he he bleeds out and then expect nothing? You know, <laughs> people had to be aware. I'm leaving. I need you to give me what you have left. Huh? There's nothing left. Oh shit. You're lying again. Let me tell you. The only reason I wanted you to come was because of the medics. I'm here because you said I was a free woman. I never said that you were free. I said that you could come and go as you please. You've lied to me and you've lied to your people. But you made the mistake of telling your secret about the slaughter of the families in Wessex. True. Um. You made the mistake of threatening him with it. Holy shit, is he actually gonna go through with this? I don't I don't I, I hope not, but I hope no more. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, she was about to go tell a secret. 
じゃん。Oh my gosh! Oh my freaking gosh! That is not okay. <laughs> Whoops!、Uh, She you slipped. <laughs> you saw nothing, children. They、you、won't just... say anything, but clearly, you're not well. He's not well. Man, he panicked. She did threaten him, like she was about to to tell his his secret to everyone. And all that because he needed her to stay around because of the drugs. He couldn't afford to let her go. Good night, sweet Magnus. I think she's gonna do something crazy. My sweet child. She knows that when she's gonna give birth, she's, she's gonna not be, gonna be, she's gonna yeah. be dead. Magnus might still have a chance to live if he stays there, but she needs to go. Maybe she's gonna try to kill someone. Kill, <laughs> I don't know. Killing King Egbert, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> she's not gonna succeed.、You、I'm、think? sorry. Ah, she's not gonna succeed. Jesus Christ! You think Egbert is gonna die killed by Quintrith? Slowly going on a dark path. The things that she would do for him now, because he's confessed his love. Okay, when it comes to Egbert, now I know I try to talk above the what was going on. <laughs> I'm sorry, does,、yeah. but、um, when it comes to Egbert, I would like to give him the benefit of the doubt because he has been obsessed with Judith since she first showed up in Wessex. So there's that. But I don't think. You know, I think we can.、Uh, I'm sorry, like my lips are really, really dry. Blah, blah, blah. I think there's a difference with love and obsession. Um,、hmm? yeah, but with Edbert, maybe he loves Judith. But the thing is, like, we can trust him that what he's saying is true. But I also trust him to follow his ambition. And if he has to betray Judith and get rid of her for his own sake, he'll do it. That's the thing with him. Like I. I'll give him that. Like I think he he actually does care about Judith, but I think he also cares way too much about his ambition and his if she's in his, his way, he's gonna get rid of her. Yeah, that's so the thing. I think he was genuine, but I also know that I think Egbert is a type of man that would choose the path of ambition and you know crown and stuff over love. So it's really. Disturbing if you consider the fact that now Judith is a murderer. She killed a,、uh, a girl and her child, someone that she considered her friend, for him. So if he betrays her in the future, that's gonna be <laughs> terrible. I see him scared and impressed with what she did. Well, that's good. He's a he's a man of speech. Like he, we've never really seen him use force by himself. Like he has. Uh, ordered the the murder of、uh, innocents before, but、uh, he doesn't do it himself. You know, he, he'd rather talk his way through f- through battles,、yeah. and、um, that's why I'm like, I don't think he has a trouble sp- sleeping at night when it comes to betraying Quentrith and stuff because, because he never because his hands are clean, sort of. Yes, and he's he's always been planning this. Like he's always he's always in the back manipulating people, manipulating his way towards the top. We know what he wants. He wants to be king of everything. He wants to like so. That's why every time he makes、uh, friends with other kings, 
We're like, it's only a matter of time before, before he stabs you, you in the, the back. Because yeah. uh, that's what he wants. He wants to be king of everything. So allies to him are just a mean to an end until he doesn't need you anymore. So Quentrith okay. believed him. Like, she trusted him to help her. But poor and girl, she, did. <laughs> she didn't. She did. Mm -hmm. But at least I do have faith that Egbert... Yeah. Egbert? Egbert's gonna take care of Magnus. He's a very good pawn. He's a kid. Influenceable. He can, you know, the teach her. of Mercia, And I mean, they can... It's not like in those days, do you could argue that... Well, I mean, Ragnar, if he never slept with Quentrith, could say, dude, that's not my kid. Yeah, but, but, um... I'm, I'm having doubts now. Well, I mean, with they... The stuff, yeah. We oh. never saw it happen. That's why we're so convinced that it's not Ragnar's kid. Um, only Ragnar at this point can tell us the truth, but, uh, it's neither here or there. Like, we're not close to that. I'd so, like to say that I'm sad Chinese that she woman, died, but... forgot the name, <laughs> died. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, Quintrith and uh, Chinese girl, they both died. Sorry, I forgot her name. <laughs> There's a part of me that'd like to say that I'm sad that they died, but, um... Quintrith was crazy, and what the Chinese girl was doing to Ragnar was not sane, so... I think I more I'm more disturbed with how it happened than what happened. I think I I knew Quentrith was gonna die deep down. Like I saw it happening way before it actually happened. Like we knew she was gonna get stabbed in the back, and that's literally what happened. So um, literally. And I mean, she was crazy. Like she was she was insane. She was a loose cannon, and um, we could never really truly trust her. You know, we and every time she was in a, in, a, in, a, in a room somewhere talking to people, we, you never knew what she was going to do. She could backstab you just for the fun of it. She would have done everything in her power to take back Mercia and to have a crown. Yeah. Poisoning her own brother because it was weak in the mind. I gotta say, though, what she said in the end, like, uh, it would have been better for me if I had been born a man that kind of hits home a lot like I'm it's true she is crazy but a lot of her uh, misfortunes happened because she was a girl like she got sure. taken advantage of people don't trust her as much she is crazy but I mean don't people don't believe that she's strong enough to rule I wouldn't say that she's crazy she's more impulsive she's oh yeah that's, okay. not, that's not the same thing Okay, she's impulsive, and she is, uh, she's a bit disturbed, but to be fair, considering what she's been through, eh, okay, I'll give her that, like, it's, it's believable. So, even and though... if she were a man, she would have a better claim to the throne, too. That's, and it would have been easier for her in life. So Correct. there's that. And as for Chinese girl, okay. <laughs> okay. Where are you um, Forgot the name just before she died. <laughs> Wait, really? Mean. I know, I know. I'm I'm really bad at this, but uh, okay. The thing is, what's worse about her death is the fact that Ragnar once again did something he's not proud of, and now he's got witnesses that he can't get rid of. The only thing is that I can say that I mean it, they won't hold against him is that she was technically a slave. And in in their world, slaves don't really matter. So it's not like he he killed like Floki, or it's not like he killed uh, another Viking from from another land just for the fun of it. You know, it's not like they can hold it that against him. But it's the act of killing a woman, apparently for no reason, that is disturbing. A defenseless woman, for yeah. No reason. They don't know what's going on. We know that he has told her his secret about, you know, the settlement that was killed. And we also know that he killed one of his own guys because he wanted to keep that secret a secret. Floki knows. Floki knows. Yeah. And uh, when she, you know, threatened him to tell, that was like, no, I'm sorry, but he's going to get make sure you don't talk. And I think she was about to do something because he literally took back... What he promised her that she was a free girl and that she could go wherever I, she wanted. You're not a free woman. I told you you can uh, come and go as you please. It's twisting his words. Like it's yeah. like now it's almost like he needs her to stay around because she can give him the drugs and he needs the drugs. And she was threatening him of leaving 
and she's like, I don't have any drugs anymore, and I'm a free girl, I can go wherever I please, and, and nah, I don't think so. And it's sad because it's the drugs that pushed him to take back his words, and that's what led to her death, you know? Um, it's all the circumstances! Fearing a bit what Uva and Vids are gonna do, because they just literally saw their father killing a defenseless woman, and they don't know the reason why he did it. I don't think they're gonna do anything, but I think they're... They're, um, the way they see their father is going to change a little bit. That, that's what I'm scared about. Yeah, okay. It's going to influence they, them. They, they know that they cannot do nothing about it. But if their own father is impulsive and just stuff and he's like unstable, that, yeah. he's really unstable. And now she's not there anymore. Like, he won't have any drugs in a, in a couple of minutes. Like, it's going to be over. So um, the withdrawal is going to kick in. And he needs to have his head on his shoulders if he wants to succeed because his plan was genius, but it's not the end of it. Like after that, they still have to fight and Paris is hard to breach. So Ragnar still has his genius. Like, yes, don't underestimate him, but Ragnar with his genius is one thing. Ragnar on withdrawal is, is another. another. And uh, by the way, I'm really happy that the, the brothers were humble enough to literally say, we underestimated you, I'm sorry we doubted you, because they've heard the tales of what he can, he, can, he can do, and now they showed up in Paris and he suffered a loss, and right after the loss he's like, let's go back home. They're like, eh, it's not really what we heard, so maybe that was all, you know, lies and it well, was blown out of proportion. I think that with the brothers, the thing is, they expect to succeed on the first try, I don't think they expected but, to succeed. I think they uh, waited to see something in intense happen. They they waited for a miracle. Even when you lose, Ragnar usually comes up with great plans and stuff. And after they lost, he just decided to go back home. So in their mind, it was underwhelming. It was yeah. like, and eh, that's not what we heard about you. So maybe you're not a. You're, you say you're the son of a god, but. Maybe you're just human, and it's disappointing. And then he comes up with this incredible plan, because I think what Bjorn told him about him appearing weak hit home, because his family's safety depends on, on him being strong, and his legacy yeah. for his children and stuff, it depends on him being strong. So he needed to prove to them all that he was still just as strong as before. He doesn't feel it deep down, he doesn't want to do this, but he has no choice. So... Yeah, that, that plan was genius, though. And Floki also <laughs> saying, everything crazy. I do is for you. That was cute as well. Like, it's... Yeah. Even killing Athelstan in some way was for Ragnar, if you think about it. Like, in Floki's mind, he was doing it for Ragnar. So, that's great. Maybe he's gonna, you know, be more open and nice with, with Ragnar now that he saved him. Maybe. So. I'm really glad that Elga is okay. Or is gonna be yeah. okay. yeah. And for Aslog and... Oh gosh, Aslog. She's pissing me off this season. It started with her literally saying, Can I be queen after Ragnar dies? <laughs> um, what's his name, the kid? Vitzik? No, Sigurd? Sigurd. It's Sigurd that's still at home. Okay. Sigurd uh, impressed me a little bit in this episode because I was afraid of how, you know, seeing the traveler sleep with all these women and manipulate his mom and his mom uh, betraying his dad how how all of that was going to affect him that scared me a little bit because he's just a kid you know that could lead him to believe that he can do whatever he wants with women in the future that could twist his mind a little bit that could uh, make him lose um respect for his dad True. but he did the contrary instead he it's said, like look mama you're not like, you're not special. He does it with everyone else. That's the thing. He's like, mom, what you're doing betrays dad and you're not being a good wife. And uh, I'll show you just how much you're losing it because see, you're not special. And I love that. The kid is like, I don't know, 10? And he's already no, really... I, I think he's like six or something. I don't know. But it's like, he, that response was really mature. I feel like, I mean, it's, it was great. And Aslog, I, I'm, what did you expect? You expect, you expect it to be the only one? Like She had faith in him, she wanted comfort, and he did it the first time. And she mm -hmm. thought that it, was, it would have been the same thing, but... She wants someone to care for her and love her. And Ragnar never really did that with her because he always loved Lagertha. And, um, I mean, I get 
the feeling. You know, I know, I understand, you know, wanting to be loved and wanting support. And when you have a, a husband that doesn't love you, never supports you, and he, he's always away. Oh, with slaves. That's... Yeah, that hurts. But at the same time, woman, you showed up and destroyed his marriage with his love, with his uh, soulmate. And then you keep whining and stuff about about everything he does. I'm sorry. And you cheated on him first. Yeah. So I'm like... What did you expect? Yeah. And especially since, you know, the traveler introduced himself as a person that helps, you know, the ones in need. And I'm like, you're not the only one in need. I don't approve of his way of helping. But um, if he truly is like a god and his influence really helps... Because what he did with, um, with uh, Ivar really was weird like he showed up he like talked to him touched him a little bit and then he stopped crying i'm like that was intense so we never really knew if he was genuine like if he was the real deal but the more he shows up the more weird stuff happens so <laughs> at least nobody died this time um I uh i don't know that's the thing i don't know because after she just rejected him and and she still needs to pay for what she got from him so i that's the thing like if he is the real deal which i think he might be i'm afraid of the consequences yeah that's what i said if he was a man he was really really delusional about what he was doing he's in the shitty. reason he did if he's but a god if he's really a god i'm not surprised about his behavior yeah usually Oof. gods tend to do what they want by weird means so it's really hard for us to talk today I just no, like, I just wanted to say that like bleh. but uh yeah we're gonna move on to the next episode and see if they go back to Paris if uh, Ragnar hits withdrawal and if uh, situation in Kattegat gets worse please nobody get nobody kill in Kattegat please nobody dies please oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, so uh, again, because I said it last episode, we're still fighting a cold and uh, it's really dry in the place here, so... <laughs> and we can't speak English correctly today, so sorry about that, but I hope you liked the episode. If you want to see the next one right away, it's already on Patreon, the link is in the description. Yep, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch it now, and if not, we'll be the next one to be out on YouTube. So, we're gonna see you then, guys. Yes, bye! Bye-bye.